My office door flung open and there she was. She was tall. She was blonde. She was desperate. I asked if she needed help. She said, of course I need help. I asked her what kind of help. She said, movie help. I asked her what kind of movie. She said, film noir. I told her she'd busted through the wrong door, but I knew just the guy to help her. His name was Steve Hayes, tired old queen at the movies. Johnny! Wow! Come on! Tired old queen at the movies. Johnny, I hadn't done a film noir in a while, so I finally decided to do one of my absolute favorites from 1945, Otto Preminger's Fallen Angel. Otto Preminger had directed Laura the previous year, and it was a really, really big hit. And they kind of wanted to duplicate the formula. So what he decided to do was Laura had been about a fascinating woman and murder in the smart set in New York. Haven't you heard of science's newest triumph, the doorbell? I don't like to remind her. What he did with Fallen Angel was take the same sort of ingredients, but put it into small town America. And Dana Andrews, who played the detective in Laura, had been sort of discovered and pushed by Fox because there weren't that many guys who were home and and Andrews couldn't join the service. So he was their main leading man uh, in the 40s. Good for us because his work, especially with Otto Preminger in the film noirs, was absolutely amazing. And he plays this drifter. And he comes into this small town in California. He has no money. He is. He goes from town to town and just tries to make whatever money he can. He's kind of a low-life hero, which kind of makes him perfect for noir. In this town, he goes into this diner. And in this diner, he meets this waitress named Stella. And Stella was played by Linda Darnell. <laughs> The sultry waitress who everybody in town is hot for. And she's got the guy who owns the cafes, Percy Kilbride, who played Pa Kettle. Stella! She'll look run out. So what? And she'll say things to him like, you make me sick. She's absolutely, but she's so beautiful, it doesn't matter. He's finished his coffee, go on. Charles Bickford. Charles Bickford was one of the great, great character actors in Hollywood. He had started out in silence, and then he was a leading man. He had belted Louis B. Mayer in The Kisser in the 30s, which kind of stopped his career for a little bit. Mr. Stanton? Look, you don't try that on me. I wouldn't think of it. I just happened not to like his face. And when he got back going again he they cast him as a priest in the song of bernadette and all of a sudden he got an oscar nomination and he was really in demand again he plays a detective sort of a sadistic detective in this i knew you'd be back and he's also obsessed with her and every day there's all these guys at this diner just looking at her uh dana andrews comes in takes one look likes what he sees and puts the moves on her you asking me and she says to him uh uh-uh. I want a home. Can you give me a home? I've had guys like you all my life. I'm not doing it again. And he comes on and their scenes together are so hot. They do this kiss where they're out on a dance floor and they're moving around and the the shot is just their silhouettes and they kiss. It's one of the first times that you actually saw an open-mouthed kiss in a movie. He lays one on her and she likes it. But she's not having him until he can offer her some dough. And at one point he says, uh, he says, I don't want you going out with anybody anymore. And her reaction, she's got a cup of coffee. And he says, you get this last night? Wait till we're married and then ask me. Till then I don't have to tell you a thing. We're as good as married. <laughs> she's just so, she's so insolent. So he decides that the way that he's going to make money, he's got to get think of something really fast to make money. He's been helping a charlatan um, soothsayer, played by John Carradine, who comes in and tells people's fortunes. He was also drifting through town. He's been helping him uh, freeload the people out of some money. And then he meets the good girl in town, who's played by Alice Faye. Now, Alice Faye had done her time at Fox. She was the reigning musical star at Fox. She was 
gorgeous, limpid-eyed, nice voice, played with Tyrone Power in Old Chicago, in Alexander's Ragtime Band. Um, she had a beautiful singing voice. You have stolen her heart, now don't go. She wanted to do dramatic parts. She'd been sick of doing musicals. She'd seen that Betty Grable had, you know, had a pretty good hit with a movie called I Wake Up Screaming, which was a film noir thriller that she made with Victor Mature. So she thought when this came along, okay, well, I'll try this and see if they'll accept me as a dramatic actress. Ever think of a career? Maybe. And? No. No, I know my limitations. Well, once Preminger started photographing this movie and they saw the rushes, he started throwing the movie towards Linda Darnell because Darnell was just, the camera loved her. The camera ate her up. And Alice Faye was so peeved by this that she never made another movie until the 60s when she did State Fair. She said, if that's, after all the years I've put in Fox, if this is the best that they're going to do for me, I'm not doing any more. What makes you think I wanted you to kiss me? Didn't you? The main thing about Fallen Angel is the atmosphere. Is the atmosphere of, in the 40s, underlying sexuality and that unhappiness with the whole so-called Americana. The idea of having the small town life and everything's good and everything's taken care of. And people are, under, in reality, are very uneasy and very unhappy and, and want to get out and want a way out. And Dana Andrews is always trying to get out and find a better way. But he wants the quick fix. And Linda Darnell has had the quick fix. And now she wants out, but she wants a home. And she wants something steady. She wants to be respectable. And Alice Faye has never had sex, never been fallen in love and so this is exciting to her she's lived that kind of stayed life and she's bored with her life so it's all about people who are bored and kind of unhappy with their lives and and what it costs them and where it leads them because you won't give him a chance you only think the worst of him trying to make him guilty of murder when he didn't do it i tell you he didn't do it he didn't do it <laughs> dana andrews alice Faye, charles bickford and the amazing linda darnell and otto preminger's Film noir classic, Fallen Angel. Ooh. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> I'm always expecting a sound of music. I would just love to have Kathleen Byron and Black Narcissus run into all those nuns, you know, when they're singing How to Solve a Common Like Maria and start doing. <laughs> <I just, yeah. laughs> the popcorn can't be beat.